find and simplify the difference quotient. So the function in this problem is f of x equals 13 over x. So we have f of x equals 13 over x, and we have to work out the difference quotient. So the difference quotient is given in, given in the problem. It's f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So the first thing we do is we evaluate f of x plus h. So that basically means we replace all of the x's in our function with x plus h. So instead of x, it's x plus h. So it'll be 13 over x plus h. So 13 over x plus h. So this whole piece here, this is f of x plus h. Again, all we do is replace all of the x's with x plus h. Minus f of x, well that's what's given in the problem. So 13 over x. And it's all being divided by h. Okay, so this next step is probably the hardest step. So how you do this step, um, I guess it just depends. I'm gonna do it the way I do it. So you know here, the LCD is gonna be x times x plus h. So we have the big division sign, and the LCD is x, x plus h. So I just write it down, boom. And then it's gonna be 13 times, and then you can look at this and say, what's missing to get the LCD? You're missing x, so times x, minus, and then 13, and then times what's missing here to get the LCD, so x plus h. And parentheses, and it's all over h. I don't know why I used a different color there. That's kind of weird. Okay, so again, you write down the LCD. Boom, there it is. Then it's 13, 13, and then what's missing here to get the LCD x, so x, minus, minus, and then 13, and then what's missing here to get the LCD x plus h. That always works. So then this is 13x minus, and then distribute this one, so minus 13x minus 13h. That's all over x, x plus h, and that's all over h. So the equal sign probably needs to go there. There we go. All right. So this is equal to, well, these cancel. So we get negative 13h over x, x plus h. This is all in parentheses. Again, it's all over h. And again, my equal sign is really out of place. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. I need more room here. There we go. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. So we have this whole thing here and it's being uh, divided by h. So when you divide by h, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this will be equal to negative 13 over h, x, x plus h, times the reciprocal of h. We're dividing by h, so we're really multiplying by 1 over h, right? Because it's really h over 1, and so the reciprocal is 1 over h. The h is cancel, and so we end up with negative 13 over x, times x plus h. So that's the difference quotient. That's how you compute it. What is this? If you ever study calculus, um, you'll see that this is the slope of what's called the secant line. And in calculus, basically, you do all of this. And then you, the easy part, you just plug in 0 for h. That's all you do in calculus uh, in a problem like this. And it ends up being um, the slope of, of the function at a particular point. I hope that made sense.